Anthony Edwards got a tall task ahead of him. His Minnesota Timberwolves got the champs in their building. The target center, the guest for the Warriors. And boy, was the chef and company putting on a show early. It's Curry for three. More on him in a second. But how about the former Warrior, D'Angelo Russell, with a three of his own? Back to the chef. It's Curry putting the moves. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, McDaniels. Curry. He's made so many three-pointers. It feels like from that exact spot. And then Curry finding other spots. Warriors up nine at the half. Third quarter. The Ant-Man. A.E. Shows some of that beautiful athleticism and grown man strength. And then Russell. Three of his 29 points. How about Nas Reed, who's been phenomenal since Carl Anthony Towns has went down, taking advantage of the opportunity. His three-pointer puts the T-Wolves up to under two minutes to go. Curry responding with a deuce of his 29 points. We're tied at 110. Four and a half seconds to go. T-Wolves get a chance. D'Lo trying to bury his former team, but that out of the timeout play call starts in the backcourt leads to a tough shot from D'Lo. It's no good, and we would go to overtime in the extra period. Beautiful move from Edwards. He had 27 points. Edwards just doing his thing. You know he's missed it somehow, some way for his team. He'll make a play. Edwards killing the Warriors' hopes of winning a road game. And when he wasn't doing it, it was Nas Reed. Nas cleaning up his own mess and putting the Warriors away for good. Reed. Had 24 points and 13 rebounds. You saw a couple of those points, and you saw that big rebound. And it's the T-Wolves beating the Warriors by five in OT. Well, Anthony Edwards recently had an admission with GQ magazine. The 21-year-old says he consumes more than 20 bags of hot chips every single week. Hot Cheetos is his thing. He said, I've been eating them since I was five-year-old. I prefer these over any chip in the world. I probably eat like three bags a day. If you do the math, that's about 21 bags a week. Yeah, I eat that many, probably more, depending on how long my day is. So now you start to pull back and and, and see exactly why Carl Anthony Towns was, was upset with his, his young guard's diet. over. Uh, that was like a few months back when Towns was like, yo, he just kind of wants Edwards to be more focused on the diet. The irony in that is, despite Edwards eating hot chips, He's more healthy than Carl Anthony Towns is. That's the ironic thing in all that, by the way. He's just literally a God-given athlete. He is just an unreal athlete. He Anthony Edwards probably could have played, played professional football. Like, I, I don't know if he would have been able to be like a quarterback, but at a wide receiver, he's so good and he's so athletic, I wouldn't have been surprised one bit with his frame if he was a, a, a literally – I'm talking about a good wide receiver in college and maybe even the NFL level. He's that hell of an athlete. He's just unreal. The, the problem is that is he's 21 now, and it, that doesn't last forever. Everybody knows that. Even, it, it, I'm, I'm 28. My diet ain't the same that it was with 21, and I'm sure when I'm 35, 40, it won't be the same as it is right now. That's not how life works, and we all have to learn that the hard way um, if, if we don't clean it up. I, when people say I'm hard on Anthony Edwards because I think he's got a lot of maturing to grow up uh, to do, not that he eats hot chips frequently. It's the fact that he said it in this GQ interview that bothers me, right? Like, he said it so – I watched the interview. He said it so frivolously and just – it was just so generic, and it flowed so easily for him. He doesn't realize that's a problem. He is about to make a lot of money as his team's one of their two franchise pieces, and I'm sure – that ownership group in Minnesota. By the way, <laughs> Alex Rodriguez, who he did other things to his body, but I don't think he ate hot chips, by the way. He, he put other stuff in his body, but not hot chips, is probably, most likely. I don't think they want to hear that with all the money that they're about to dish out to this guy. Because, again, 21-year-old athlete can do whatever, put whatever in his body, and still bounce back and give the Golden State Warriors 30 points, pretty much. 28, 29, 32-year-old that's different. So I'm just saying, if you're doing it, I think it, you know, like, 
it's one thing to disrespect a person that's obviously disrespectful enough. When you're vocal about the disrespect, then that means you you don't care, right? And obviously, with Edwards' situation, he's, you know, saying he eats chips. It's one thing to, to eat chips. To say it in an interview like the team you play for wants to hear that, you don't even realize you're that's a problematic comment or that you're bothering somebody, right? I remember Lamar Odom got a lot of backlash back in the day when he was a Clipper and a Laker because he said he would go through, like, packs of Skittles every day. Right? And Lamar Odom was fine in his prom. He was fine. He fell off a cliff. That really happened. In his 30s, he fell off a cliff. Lamar Odom was a superior athlete. And I don't want that to happen for AE because he's a superior athlete. But, uh, you know, GQ, well, what the hell does he need to be doing a GQ interview for anyway? That ain't helping at all. <laughs>